Hello again, and welcome to our uh, interview of a new PhD student uh, in Finnish Center for Smart Cities again. So today we have a pleasure to meet with uh, Francesco Tonarelli, who is uh, our new researcher. And uh, without uh, any further ado, I'll just go with the questions that, well, uh, what is your research area of your PhD studies and how does it associate with the smart cities? Well, my PhD topic is actually smart city governance. Uh, and uh, I have a particular focus on uh, um, geographies, which are usually uh, overlooked by mainstream uh, research, that is the global south and the secondary cities. Um, that's uh, in a nutshell yeah. what I'm Okay, well, it sounds very interesting in the sense that, well, we usually know very much about the smart uh, global cities and what kind of solutions they have applied. But uh, what is your, uh, say, approach there? That How do you see at the moment that, well, say, what are the specifics of such a ignored cities or such a smaller smart cities? What uh, kind of, uh, say, new solutions or your, uh, you have found there? Well, the problem is probably, uh, first of all, not to try to uh, draw conclusion on uh, such a diverse uh, context. Also, Global South is uh, very much of a, um, yeah, like a buzzword, which is not really, which is describing uh, a, such a vast uh, territory, which is not really appropriate to say, to talk about, uh, uh, yeah, something like that. Um, I think one of the, the, key um, point of my PhD is to try to provincialize, uh, that is to um, to look at the specificity of, um, uh, of a context and how this uh, brings uh, brings about a different way that in innovation and, uh, um, and smart city making is uh, actually applied to that specific context. Mm -hmm. And then to try to draw uh, uh, like go back to the uh, the, the bigger picture and and uh, draw uh, similarities and connection and uh, comparisons between these different geographies. Mm -hmm. You've also said that uh, you have uh, say you are looking also at the digital solutions of these uh, small areas. That, that how do you see it at the moment? That, say is there big differences between the different areas? Uh, well. Um, there are quite a lot of differences. Um, there is uh, obviously a lot of solutions which are um, uh, uh, brought from, uh, let's say, the global north, but there is also a, a lot of like um, local innovation which is happening and um, in very different shapes. Um, my the area which I have uh, been working on and know probably the best is. Uh, is East Africa, and this is quite well known for um, the mobile money, which has been uh, invented in Kenya and now is applied in uh, a, a lot of different contexts. And that's a, a, an example of um, of a very specific innovation, which uh, was built to uh, to respond to a context where smart uh, smart. Um, uh, mobile phones uh, are not really very well diffused, so it's very, it's uh, completely based on, uh, on uh, um, modest phones. We call it like the first generation of, uh, of mobile phones. Uh, mm -hmm. So responding to the specificity of the context, but then bringing a completely new uh, innovation into the daily life of. Uh, right. Well, how did you find out actually about the Finnish Center for Small Cities? Well, it's a bit of a long story. Uh, I did my Erasmus in Copenhagen, and there were quite a lot of people from um, from Finland and Estonia, and I was very much um, uh, um, like I, they. It struck me how their cultural innovation, uh, and I was like, this really helped me help to put the region in a map, whereas it was not uh, very mu uh, too much in my, <laughs> my, yeah, in my focus. Yes. Um, and uh, since then, I've been 
tracking a lot of the, of the initiatives, uh, especially in uh, the area of uh, urban development and, and uh, planning mm -hmm. and in connection with uh, digital technologies, smart cities. And uh, so I think I, although my Erasmus was very much <laughs> before the, the, smart city, the, the mm -hmm. finance center started, um, I think since the beginning of, uh, of the set, like the start of the center, I, um, I got to know the initiative. Um, and then I was very happy to find an opening for a PhD, which, uh, which kind of corresponded to my, uh, my experience and my, uh, my interests. So, Right. So what do you expect to get from uh, Finance Center uh, in the end of the day? Um, well, I really um, appreciate the, um, the kind of academic environment where I'm mm. in. Uh, not only for the expertise of the of the professors and of the other researchers, but uh, I also like the the kind of network which is created, and I also like the the um, uh, the dimension of the center because being uh, relatively small but so embedded in uh, two very good um, uh, research institutions it really gives you the possibility of. Um, of having a, a direct contact with uh, with these uh, uh, researchers and uh, being part of the uh, of the research community. Um, right. The, how would you describe actually the Finnish Center uh, you know, for as a role uh, in the role of the PhD student's mentor, or is there something you have already learned to or to, by today? Uh, well. Uh, I think what is special about the the, the center is that it is uh, on one side a, a research uh, center, on the other side is a is a, a case study uh, in the making. So I I find it fascinating how uh, being connected and just uh, working into in the, the day to day work is actually mm -hmm. feeding into into my research and the research of my of my other fellow colleagues. And I think this is extremely enriching, and it's a, a way of uh, of learning which I had not thought about before. Right. If somebody would consider to come along to the Finnish Center, what would you recommend to them? Uh, well, I would say not to be shy and to uh, try to engage as much as possible in the life of the uh, of the center. As I said, the 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 added value is. Uh, uh, this uh, dynamism and um, this uh, involvement in in the actual process of uh, of the um, of the country and of the region, and I think it's important not to stick to your uh, to your research, but uh, try to uh, to be connected as much as possible, which then will pay back. I think. Okay. Thank you, Francesco, and uh, welcome to the team. Thank and, you very much. Uh, well, looking forward to say your research and the outcome from that.